C. Lindelof videos, particle motion with your graphing calculator. And of course, today we're talking about TI Inspire's CAS calculator, the one I'm most fond of. And this is question 2B, because today in this section we're going to be doing questions C and D. So if you're looking for the other one, please look up the same title, but under 2A. Having said that, we're given this velocity function. This is from a 2005 exam. We're given this velocity function that says that V of T, the velocity at any given time, is ln of T squared minus 3T plus 3. And in question C, we're asked to find all times in the open interval T is greater than 0 but less than 5 where the particle changes direction. It says during which intervals for t is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 5, does the particle move left? So what time does it move left? So let's take a look at this really quick. This is not super hard to do. We're going to go straight to our calculator. So here's that calculator. And we have our function here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the function in. So the function, the velocity function is ln of x squared minus 3x plus 3. And if you're thinking, yeah, Charlie, but it was in terms of t, it, you can save it that way. The only problem that I have with it is that I'm not sure it will graph uh, on this calculator if I put it in terms of t. So I'm going to have to switch back and forth. And then I am going to save this. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to do it that way. Let's check this out. I think let's do it this way. Because it's asked for it on an interval. Let's do it this way. Go here. So I went to this little red button right there. I want a piecewise function, which I kind of do in a way, because I want to have a specific interval that I'm looking at. I'm going to say, just give me a one piece. And then I'm gonna, now I'm going to put in my function ln of x squared minus 3x plus 3, right? <coughs> Whoops, tab over. And then we wanted this on which interval? We wanted this on t is greater than or equal to 5. Uh, greater than or equal to zero. So I'm going to put zero, control this equal sign here. There's my x less than or equal to five. Isn't that the number we were using? Five. And it is five. And then like I said, I'm going to hit tab here. And then I'm going to hit control, store. And I'm going to save this as my v of x. And the reason this is really cool is because, watch this, now if you hit solve, S-O-L-V-E, solve, all I have to type in is V of X, type in V of X equals zero, comma, X, comma, X, hit, hit enter, it gives us one or two. Now that's all fine and good, I and mean, we can do a little bit of research if we want to, but another way that we could have done this, I just want to show you this interval thing. Another way we could have done this is go back to your calculator and hit graph and then type, just type in V of X. And because we have it on an interval, it will graph it on that interval. And now we can see, we can see here clearly that for X is greater than zero, but less than one, the height of the velocity function is positive. Therefore, we have positive velocity, don't we? And between 0 and 2, the height of the velocity function is negative. Therefore, we have negative velocity. So it's moving left. And then from 2 to 5, we have positive height. Therefore, positive velocity, the thing is moving to the right. So far, so good. So I'm kind of liking that. So let's move to here. So for C, I'm going to say it says, Final time to know here when a particle changes direction. Be careful. Just because the velocity goes to zero doesn't mean it changes direction. It could just stop for a second, but we know now that it does. So I'm going to label this part C and say at t equals 1 or t equals 2, particle at rest. And then I'm actually just going to draw this thing out. I'm going to draw it out like this, and I'm going to say this. I have this endpoint here at 0. I have this endpoint here at 5. We have 1 and 2 here. So this is 1 and 2. And this is t, and this is v of t. Well, v of t is 0 here and 0 here. But it's positive here, negative here, 
positive here. You can just use test values like 0.5 here, 1.5 here, anything you want here. This should be 5. Okay, so particle moves left. Moves left. T is greater than 1, but less than 2. All right, so hopefully that's that's helpful. That gets you where you're going. Finally, it says, then this is the trick. It says, find the average acceleration of the particle on the interval. So this is an average velocity function, right? This is an average rate of change function. So just to take a look at this for letter D now that we're doing, letter D, what they're what they're afraid what they're kind of hoping that you're going to do how they've kind of put this distractor in their thing to set you up is that they're hoping that you're going to do v of two minus v of zero over two minus zero equals some number but that's not true right um that is true uh, what they're afraid you were going to do was do a of two minus a of zero to find average velocity that's to find average acceleration, that's not true. This is what you want to do. You can do it on your calculator just this way. So I'm going to go back to the calculator. Go back to this. If we take A of a function, so I can just do this menu. Oh, I don't need to. I don't need to do that. Just hit escape. So I can do this. Control division. Check this out. Control division. V of 2 minus v of 0 over 2 minus 0 equals. That's OK. So what you can do there is hit Control, Vision, and you can get negative 0.549. So I'm going to go back here, negative 5.549. I'm going to go back here. Average acceleration. I would definitely, definitely show them this equals negative 0.549. All right, so that's kind of how I did that. I hope that worked out good for you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please seriously let me know. But I think this is something you can really do. This calculator is awesome for this. Remember, though, to show your good calculus and think of the tricks that they give you. For example, um, so many times in calculus, we're, we start with the position function here. They started us with the velocity function. So something to think about. All right. Good work, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know.